Falcon's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So he made his name, settling his debts with the mercenaries. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But, most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. No! Andraste's tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? But we heard you're going into the deep roads. Surely you'll need all the help you can- No! You're too late. Already done. This is a sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. I'll buy you a drink before we head into the deep roads. Everyone wins. Get in line, human. Half of Kirkwall wants to be my best friend right now. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. We've made a name for ourselves this last year. We'll find something. We have to. We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. <sighs> Maybe Gamlin knows someone who can talk to Bartram for us. Our uncle's not exactly the most reliable tool in the shed. He's all we've got. Make us save us. We might as well ask. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high town, let alone the Merchant's Guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. <gasps> How do you do? Varric Tethrus, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would? I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. You're going awfully far out of your way just to hire another guard. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartrand's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. I hope there's more to this, like how I'm supposed to get that much coin together. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the Deep Roads won't be crawling with Darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? It's not like I had anything better planned. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. 
She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the Hanged Man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Ah, High Town. Where the rich go to piss their money away. <laughs> this really is the best place in Kirkwall. Nothing to see. You don't seem to like your brother very much. And here I thought it took blood magic to read minds. I had a twin brother, Carver. He used to nail my braid to the bed while I was sleeping. I never thought I'd miss him this much. Sorry about your brother. Hey, you want mine? I got a spare. 